The following presentation of Take Paws has been made possible in part by Broward County Animal Care and Adoption, where you can adopt a new best friend for life. I'm Mike Moscatello and this is Take Paws, a show about caring for the awesome pets that make us laugh and smile. Speaking of which, adopting a kitty like this one from a local shelter could bring plenty of smiles into your life. Of course, owning a pet comes with certain responsibilities, including dental care. Most owners don't think very much about their pet's teeth until there's a problem, but being proactive with dental care can help ensure good health and smaller bills at the vet's office. So what can you do for your pet? Well, let's find out. Hey, smile for the camera, kitty. No? Oh, I see. You haven't brushed your teeth yet. Hmm. Definitely dental health is one of the most neglected areas of pet health because um, a lot of us have busy lives and, and we don't really have time to get home and then spend five minutes, ten minutes brushing the pet's teeth. And um, You know, my best recommendation is for you to take the pet twice a year to your uh, licensed veterinarian and um, follow the recommendations they have and uh, they will walk you through the best way of uh, doing something at home that it will maintain your pet's teeth uh, healthy throughout their lives. I do see on my daily uh, routine uh, a lot of pets that um, definitely need some um, better dental health. Uh, I feel that um, most, of, most of the clients might not know um, the proper way of doing um, dental health at home, how to properly brush their pet's teeth. Some of them might not have the adequate time to spend and, and, and really do that. Um, I think one of the biggest issues is definitely not doing routine dental cleanings with a professional, with a professional veterinary office on a yearly basis. And, and I feel that's what, that's the area that we're lacking on care there when it comes to dental health. What I see on a daily basis here at the office is um, a lot of pets, um, lack of dental health, um, and uh, preventative care for, to avoid dental disease, maybe because uh, the owner doesn't have the knowledge. Um, one of the biggest issues is they might not be taking the pet to the veterinarian on a yearly basis to get professional dental cleanings. And um, definitely, you know, we can see how the teeth um, eventually get really rotten and, you know, we see all the symptoms of dental disease here. A human mouth has 32 th teeth as an adult. Um, adult dogs have 42 teeth in total, um, cats have 30. Um, and then obviously, you know, pet age faster than a human being. So, uh, you know, it, you can see that the teeth also deteriorate faster than it would be in a person. Um, they, they use some of the teeth, of, like the canine teeth, um, to bring the food back. And then they chew with their molars which are the big teeth in the back uh, and that's how they you know be able to um, chew the food but um, definitely you know they're not able to brush their own teeth um, like we do so if um if if you know they another thing that happens is um you know dogs and cats they lick themselves they lick the floor there's a lot of bacteria in the mouth uh, we don't do that so um, that makes a difference as well So the major cause of dental disease in pets is uh, the lack of preventative care. Um, just as we brush our teeth on a daily basis, uh, pets should have a daily brushing as well, um, as well as the yearly cleaning, professional cleanings done by the veterinarian. 
um, just like your dentist will recommend for you to visit them you know, twice a year or once a year in some cases. Um, there are some factors that also interfere in the dental health, uh, genetics being one of them. Um, usually small breed dogs like Poodle, Chihuahuas, um, you know, Dotsons, they are predisposed to um, having dental uh, disease more than other breeds as well. Also the food, um, pets that are on a soft or moist food or human food, um, they tend to have more dental torture and uh, problems than dogs that are on a dry food basis. Well, despite of what some people might think, uh, treatment for dental disease in pets is very similar to the treatment that we can get in our dentists. Um, you know, the, the first thing is getting yearly dental cleanings, professional dental cleanings. This is the same that your dentist will do to you. Um, scaling and polishing the teeth. Um, there's in, uh, some cases when there's a fractured tooth, when they can do root canals. Um, extractions are, you know, the last resort when we cannot do anything about that tooth. Uh, there's crown reconstruction in some cases where the, the, the tooth is uh, fractured and it can be remodeled. Um, and there's specific gels that can be put on their teeth uh, and the pet's teeth as well to prevent uh, dental disease. So there's definitely several options out there to be proactive about your pet's health, uh, dental health. Um, there's a, a whole stock of uh, different type of brushes, uh, toothpaste, uh, there's chewables, medicated chewables that you can actually give your pet. Um, there's rinses, there's sprays, um, there's also even you know, some gels that you can apply yourself at home that will prevent the formation of plaque and would um, stop the advancement of dental uh, disease. I really encourage the pet owners to uh, pay more attention to and be more proactive to the dental health of the pets because it is the best care for them. It's, um, you know, we want them to be around for a long time, so uh, we really want um, to send a message that uh, good dental health is a good health and overall for the pets. If you'd like to help support Take Pause through sponsorship or by making a donation, call 754-321-1000 or go to beacon.tv.